Welcome back everyone. I've got a video out there that discusses how to install recessed lighting and I received a lot of questions, uh, really kind of a lot of them offline too on emails about how to space the, uh, or lay out, how to lay out the recessed lighting or how to space them. So I wanted to just uh, tell you that first I have a blog post that you can see the link down below uh, that gives a full detailed explanation on how to lay out or space recessed lighting. But I'm going to take you through just a couple of uh, short tips on it right now. And it'll be both for when you try to, to space things out evenly in a room and also when you have an unconventional room where you're not going to space them out evenly. I'll talk a, a bit about that as well. The first thing you need to know before laying out your recessed lighting plan or design is you should expect to have uh, a, a recessed lighting pot or can one every 20 to 25 square feet of space in the room okay and that's if you're obviously laying it out evenly so if you had a uh, a room that had uh, you know 200 square feet you might be looking at eight lights in the ceiling the first thing you want to do before starting your layout plan is you want to understand what's happening in the room okay so here in this room this is a family room obviously and we've got couches and what I wanted to make sure was that the, the lights were basically coming down over the outer edge of the couch. I did not want them shining on top of uh, your head when you sit here, not too far out into the middle of the room. So I wanted to uh, align them to the edge of the couch. And so uh, when I did that measurement, it came to three feet from the wall. So, the, so at that point, what I said was, okay, what we need to do is measure three feet from each corner, and I remove the... Uh, surround sound speakers so you can get a good view of the corner here um, you've got three feet this way three feet this way and this light is where it intersect in the middle okay so this light is three feet from the wall here three feet from the wall there everything is three feet it's basically a three foot box and you set this corner light we did the same thing in this corner in that corner and in that corner okay so I've got the four corners set and they're all measured three feet uh, from each edge. Got it? And then the lights in between, you're just going to evenly space between the two. So once you have the, uh, the center point of each of the corner lights, the, the very center between the two is where you're going to put the middle one. Same thing on the other side. So when you're evenly spacing them like this, it really could not be easier. Now let's take a look at a room that, uh, that does not have them easy, evenly spaced. So we're back in the kitchen and um, you know, a kitchen's a unique spot where you have certain areas that you need to illuminate. So you can see these recessed lights are not necessarily spaced evenly. We've got a light over you know, the stove area for that workspace. We've got one here that's over this doorway and pantry area. There's a large pantry here. And we've got one here that's positioned in front of the counter in the microwave. And then one right over the center island. Now, in some instances, you might not have uh, a uh, recessed light over a center island. You might be using uh, pendants, and that's another reason why we didn't put a recessed light over the sink. There actually used to be one there on its own switch, and we put the pendant instead. But now in this layout here in this kitchen, you can see that uh, the layout of these recessed lights are more related to the task at hand versus evenly spacing them. Now, on this end of the kitchen, we've got the table. And, um, and here, we just evenly space the lights you know, above the table, making sure that we're illuminating this side of the room. They're on a separate zone you know, appropriately. So the, here, it's kind of evenly spaced over the table. So hopefully that gives you a decent idea on how to space or lay out your recessed lights. Again, uh, follow the link in the description below. I'll also provide a link to what I recommend you use as far as recessed lights are concerned. And, um, if you have any questions or need any help laying out your recessed lights, just please post your comment down below. Thanks and have a great day.